they don't want you to know the truth. And uh, I guess they're good at hiding it. The potential for abuse is enormous because of the way the thing is set up. Agencies are funded by how many children they have in care. And if the number of children decrease, they get less funding. We are making money. They get all this money from the government from donations and they're using it to protect themselves, not the children. Almost every single child was on a neuroleptic. A very clear example of empire building. Tunder Bay is benefiting big time with our kids in care. I don't know how many mortgages they're paying. This baby snatching system became a big business only in the last couple of decades. Well, I think the disconnect is in the history, especially in the Jewish community, because people don't know that this is going on. They don't. People find it so hard to believe that a children's aid society could act maliciously. It just goes outside of what people believe. Even though we were the adoptive parents who were, who were supposedly going to adopt this child. You didn't protect me, you're supposed to. I would certainly expect that our police today respond. In child welfare, you actually have more power than the police. There are no other government agencies that have those types of powers. There's an imbalance of power from the word go. Confidential is actually code for secret. We'd like to keep it a secret. They're conducting themselves against the law. Tell government, when are you going to wait for another boarding school before all these kids come of age and start having lawsuits with them? Is that what they're waiting for? Be bold. Be a leader from time to time, for God's sake. Do something. We call them Jay Awash, that means the devil work is what they're doing.